Alright, so let's connect this guy here. So, we got this guy here. So, the connector goes upward, so it looks like it's kind of upside down, but that's just how it is. The bare side, you got you have one, you got the connector here. One side is bare and one side is black. So, this side is bare, and that's, that's the side that you want. And that should go here. So with the board upside down like that, I'm gonna connect it this way. So I'm gonna open up that part, this little hook thing, this little clip thing here. And, uh, Just uh, connect that. So it's supposed to, the end result is supposed to look like this. So we gotta connect that. There's space here. And you can see that. Uh, okay, so. So once you get it clipped in there, we'll just pinch this together. And I am grounded, so I don't have to worry about static electricity because I got my so grounded. Yeah. So that's connected. And it's also this little panel thing here, this little touch panel thing here that you should also connect. This little guy. So I'm gonna do that the same thing pinch off this guy and try to get it in there somehow not sure how I know that it's actually in There's a connector here that is supposed to have the silver side up. So, silver side towards the USB, like that. Connect it here. So, it's connected there. So, it's bended over. This way, so I'm going to actually connect the board first because that's going to probably be easier. And with all this stuff connected, you got to be very gentle, very really careful. Chest and stuff. There's a little bit of resistance here. Alright, so it's in. Alright, that looks good. Um, I guess I gotta screw this in here. There's no washer or anything like that, so it's just gotta screw it right in there.
And you don't need a lot of strength, it's just to uh, hand tighten it because you don't want to break the circuit board. Because these holes uh, that we're mounting with, they weren't meant to be mounting holes. They were actually meant to be used at the factory to align. They were they're actually alignment holes. So uh, you got to be very gentle. Don't use pliers because you're going to break it. Okay, so you can put the pie upside down like that. I, I thought the pie goes under, but it actually goes over, so I was wrong about that. So I need a little screwdriver right there. Okay. I hope the connections are all okay. I have to retake everything apart. And if you do use a screwdriver like I am, be gentle, just just gently tighten. Alright, and a uh, couple more screws. Again, gently tighten. Again, just gently tighten. Let's go under suicide towards USB, so so that's good. I think that's it to assemble it. I just don't have the uh, the stand, the kickstand that we can get separately. So that's what it looks like uh, mechanically uh, applied. Uh, this uh, install there. So. Wonder what happens if I plug in the. Uh, some power. Curious. I just power it up. With just the LCD. Right, so let's, let's try powering up. There's a, a, a power jack, a micro USB on the control board itself, not the Raspberry Pi, but the control board itself. Let's see what happens if I. Plug that in by itself. Let's see if anything happens. And nothing happens. And I plug it in. There's no indicator light. There's nothing. Doesn't smell bad either. Doesn't heat up. Uh, no indication that it's on. I pull out. Uh, I'm not sure I'm supposed to power it up by itself. Uh, no heat, no, no funny smells. Uh, Alright.